Hey everyone, this is Ginny and we are back at the kitchen today and we are making some nice yummy che beefy cheese and macaroni. Oh my god, it is so good. Let's get started. a super easy pantry meal most of this stuff you have kicking around in your pantry a few different seasonings that you like so just elbow macaroni a pound I have a half a pound of beef uh, left over from dinner last night so I just want to use that up and we're gonna throw that right in here sometimes I make it without beef but we have it extra in the fridge so we're gonna use it up and my neighbor brings over these two pound blocks of cheese which is really awesome it's just um, American cheese processed American cheese it makes really nice macaroni and cheese it's nice and cheesy so um, we're going to use uh, about half of that a pound of it and then I've got some sharp cheddar and I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top so nothing too not too much added stuff to it but you can really go for it with this which is nice but whatever you like in your mac and cheese so first off we're going to get started by putting a big pan of water on and get our noodles cooking and then we are going to brown our hamburg real fast we're going to throw this in a pan and get it browned up Okay, so while we're browning up our hamburg, I like to add my seasoning right in here. So we're just going to add a little bit of Himalayan salt because we like that. A couple shakes of pepper. And I'm going to add in some onion powder that I have. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of garlic powder just to give this a little bit of flavor. I don't like it completely plain. My kids would eat it with no flavoring in it, but I like some seasoning. Okay, and once we have this browned up, we're just gonna set it aside until our cheese sauce is done. all browned and seasoned up and I am just going to cut up this cheese you can grade this but I find just cutting it up in little cubes works just fine so I'm going to use about a pound of this and there's no rhyme or reason just smaller pieces so they melt easier um, while we're making our cheese sauce I'm not that particular about it, just kind of breaking it up. Okay, for our cheese sauce, we're going to start with a couple tablespoons of butter, and we're going to put this on a medium-high heat and melt that butter right down. Okay, so we've got our butter all melted down. We're just going to put in a couple tablespoons of flour and we're going to make a roux. And this will help thicken our cheese sauce. And we just want to get that all mixed in. You want to make sure this is good and mixed. Yeah, I got a little extra butter in here, so we're going to add a little bit more flour. All right, so we've got that all mixed together. Make sure you don't have any lumps. 
And we are going to add about uh, um, a cup and three quarters of milk, almost two cups. We're going to add that and we're going to get this warmed up a little bit and we'll start adding our cheese. Okay, so we just want to get our milk hot. We do not want to boil this. So I turn this down on medium and then you can start adding your cheese and we just put it right in and it will melt your cheese right in there. We're just going to keep it on a medium heat and stir it around and this takes a few minutes but... And that roux with the flour and butter is going to make this a nice thick cheese sauce. I remember the first time I made homemade macaroni and cheese. I didn't know about roux and adding milk or cream or anything to it. And I just melted the cheese. Oh my God. It was so thick and so cheesy that we couldn't even eat it. It was horrible. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> And you can see this is starting to thicken already. It really doesn't take, it takes a few minutes, but not too, too long. You just want to get all that cheese melted so it's nice and smooth in there. Okay, so once you have this nice and creamy, you can see this is nice and creamy. We're going to turn it way down on low until our macaroni is done. And we're going to add our ham, ground beef right in here. And if it's really greasy, you can, uh, you definitely want to drain it out before you put it in. You don't want this too greasy, but, um, ours doesn't have much grease in it. So we just put that right in there and we're going to mix it in so those flavors can really start getting together. We're just going to mix that right in our cheese sauce. And it is ready to go as soon as I've got my pasta all cooked and drained. And you don't want to overcook this. You want to cook it so it's just al dente um, because you're going to cook it a little bit more now. So what we're going to do is take our pasta and we're going to pour it right into our cheese sauce. And I use the whole pound of pasta, my elbow macaroni. And we're just going to mix this right up so it's all nice and cheesy. Okay, once you have everything coated really well, we're just going to take this and pour it right into a greased pan. This is a, I don't know what size this is, 10 by 14 by something. I've got it all greased with coconut oil, but you can grease it with whatever you like to use for uh, greasing pans. And we're just going to pour this right in. That smells so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, and we're just going to spread this out so it's kind of even. And you can see a half a pound of Hamburg is okay. You could definitely put a pound in here if you wanted to. But I had a half a pound kicking around, and that is actually plenty for us. So now we're going to... Just take a couple handfuls of this um, shredded cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar, and we're going to sprinkle it over the top. And 
You could use breadcrumbs also if you like it with the crunchy breadcrumb top. That is really good. Um, we like it both ways. I like to mix it up and do it a little different each time. Add a little different seasoning. Um, you can, you know, add extras, take stuff away. So each time it's kind of a little bit different. Um, I like it like that. So this is the basic though. And we're going to take and put a little parsley in here also right on top. Because I like a little parsley and it's really good for digestion. It's good for you. So we just add a little bit on there. And that will cook right into the cheese. And we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees okay, for about so 20 minutes. In the oven about 20 minutes. And you just want to cook it till it starts to get nice and golden brown just a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. And then we're going to let this sit for about probably 8 or 10 minutes just to cool down so nobody gets burned from it a little bit because it's super hot. And then okay, so we we're just gonna let this cool up. down a little bit. And then it's ready. Yummy. This smells so good. It's great comfort food, especially with the colder days coming up. And it's nice and cheesy. And this is definitely a favorite here. So you can see it's nice and cheesy. Yummy. Oh my goodness. It's still pretty hot, but it is delish. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.